Welcome everyone to our prayer journey with my Toad Daily Devotion. How is your journey, your prayer journey, getting into the presence of God going? I hope you're doing it every day. Today from Psalm 143 verses 7 and 8, I have broken it out to give you getting in his presence list. You know, we have so many problems going around in our world today. We have a divided country. We have high inflation, high gas prices, threats of recession, so many things that we can feel overwhelmed. And yet, when I get up and pray in the morning when I have the opportunity, it is only a few steps from my bed into my living room where I can sit down and I can pray to God. And sometimes I miss that. I don't go and do it. It is a short journey from the world of wickedness, the world of sin, the world of worry to get in the presence of God. If you're a Christian, if you know God, you can boldly come before him, respectfully, but boldly become before God. Why? Because you're washed in the blood of Jesus, and yet you don't come. Or, you know, I miss. We don't come all the time. And there's things that can come up. But getting in the presence of God is our escape. And not only that, if you have problems that you need to deal with, getting in the presence of God will give you the answers to how to overcome those particular problems. Instead, a lot of times we go out into the world and we ask people, you know, what do you think about this particular situation? What should I do with this particular situation? Well, if you went in the presence of God, he will guide you on what to do. It is hard making those few steps. And when you do, you're blessed by it. You know you're blessed by it. And yet it is difficult to make that journey to sit down, kneel down, and pray to God. Why? It's Satan and deception that keeps us away often. In Psalm 143, verse 7, I broke it up into a list of getting into the presence of God. He says here, Hear me speedily, O God. You know, I don't have a lot of time, God, sometimes. O Lord, hear me speedily. My spirit feel it, uh, fails. It's failing. It's, 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 there's no strength in it. I mean, how often do we feel that with us being sin nature beings that we fall and do something we did not want to do Say something that we did not want to say. We, we, we fail constantly. And to come before God and say, My spirit feel it. Hide not thy face from me because I made a mistake. Lord, I turn around. Help me, Lord God, to overcome these things. Least I be like unto them that go down into the pit. We can do nothing on our own. We need to be in the presence of God, especially because we are sinners that continue to fall. To go before God. And, you know, sometimes he turns our failures into victories if we're spending time seeking his face. Later it goes in these verse, Cause me to hear the loving kindness in the morning. How are you going to hear God's loving kindness unless you go before him and pray to him and ask him to show you what he has for you this day. It is in thee I trust. That's where we need to put our faith. If we really trust the Lord, do we go out and tell and ask our friends for direction? Or do we first come to the Lord and ask him for directions? You know, the funny thing is, when I go to the Lord sometimes and um, I don't get an answer, I go out. And I'll start talking to somebody and they have my answer. Because I picked up the phone, called God, and he answered and sent me the individual I had to see to tell me what I had to do. God speaks in many and diverse ways. But mostly and truly through his Bible, he will line up the scripture for you so you know the truth. Cause me to know thy way, therein I walk. How, how you know... Scripture is sometimes taken out of context incorrectly. And this goes for everybody. The greatest scholars of all time have 
read a verse incorrectly and don't know it, and then one day God will enlighten them to know that. When we go out and walk, we want to be pliable if God speaks to us and shows us in his word that we're doing something the wrong way. We got to trust his word and his spirit to guide us. It says, no man need teach you anything but the Holy Spirit of God. And you need to be seeking God's face to hear from God. And in the last part of this verse that he says, I lift my soul up to thee. I'm going to put it in your hands, God. I am not a navigator. You are, Lord God, the navigator for me or the pilot for me. Take me where you want me to go because I don't know. I hope this is a blessing to you. I hope you get up every morning, make that journey right to the place where you meet God. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.